The BitBoy Crypto, Ben Armstrong, and HIT network situation just got a whole lot crazier. Obviously, the BitBoy Crypto brand has rebranded to Discover Crypto. So it's no longer BitBoy Crypto, no association with that at all anymore. Now, obviously, Ben Armstrong made a new YouTube channel, put two videos up where he pretty adamantly talked about the BitBoy Crypto brand just being dead altogether. But we've never heard from HIT network until today. And this video is very interesting. We're going to watch it right now, but let me know what you think because i think it's kind of snakish but i also kind of think all this was needed let's watch the video and then you can make your own decision welcome to discover crypto today marks the beginning of a new era Ooh. on this channel as you know ben had been a part of this team and this channel for many years we recently announced his complete removal and buyout from this company in his own words bitboy is dead bitboy is dead but bitboy is dead there is no bitboy there's no bit squad it's over there's no doubt his removal will have a dramatic effect on this channel. Wow. This decision was not made lightly and had many contributing factors. Up until this point, Ben has shared his version of the story with you. You're going to know now I had no fear. And it went on for a while. Wow. But th the fact is, is that I've messed up. I can't make an excuse for an affair. been taking diet pills and I've been taking some steroids. I do steroids, guys. Big shocker. Um, I take testosterone and I take maybe, maybe some Dynaball every once in a while. It's not a big deal. And sometimes when you're in business and you're in the heat of the battle, you forget the things that are really important. But what's really important are the people that are around you. How you treat them. I threatened to beat the crap out of TJ. Wow. When I found out he was trying to take everything from me. I threatened him and I did threaten him. I act a little erratic. You guys, if you've ever seen erratic behavior on my channel, it's because I've been taking those diet pills. I just think of the other. Real quick, if, if you're taking diet pills, diet pills don't make you erratic, okay? Di diet, pills are, diet pills are just caffeine. It's the steroids. Why is BitBoy taking steroids when he's just a normal looking guy? Look, I know he needed to lose weight, but you don't need to take steroids unless you're a bodybuilder and you hit your genetic limit. You don't take steroids if you're a regular guy trying to lose weight. You eat better and you exercise more because it can ruin your whole personality when you're taking stuff outside of what your body creates it can really mess up your personality and probably make him rage a little too much and want to attack some of the people he works with so i guess that's what they were talking about when they referred to ben maybe uh threatening physical violence and you can see tj speaking to us in the camera with the entire bitboy team or hit network team behind him in support I'm taking those diet pills i just think at the other at the end of the day my, my perspective of what was going on was probably not accurate in addition to the things Ben has shared regarding his affair, substance abuse, wow. and aggressive behavior towards employees, I promise you there is much more to this Whoa. story. We care deeply about the truth and each and every one of you watching right now. Integrity is one of our core values here, and I do think the truth will come out in time. I don't want to say anything negative about my friend and ex-business partner right now. Please think about how you- <laughs> Literally just making a video that's negative. I mean, I get it, TJ. You're putting this video out there for people to see the contradictions that BitBoy Crypto is making, but you are saying negative things about him. But I suppose in this situation when BitBoy has been attacking them, you kind of have to, right? An ex-business partner right now. Please think about how you would feel in my position. I don't want to be here. I loved building this channel and business with Ben. We had a great dynamic and a lot of fun over the years. This hurts all of us. Anybody that supports <laughs> <laughs> TJ's taking over the business. Oh, that's a little snakish. That's a little snakish. But look at when you go into business with someone and look at here's the thing. Coffeezilla made a post about this, pretty much calling TJ a snake. Coffeezilla, big daddy Coffeezilla. But is Coffeezilla paying attention to all the shit that Ben BitBoy Crypto has, has gotten this network into? All the shit coin affiliations, all the crazy scams that he's been involved with in the past. Like if you're a big brand like that, that has to be like bad for you guys overall. Like all the crazy things Ben BitBoy says, you know, I think that that's important to look at that too. So although that does seem a little snakish from TJ, I understand why they're saying some of the things they're saying. This is crazy. Hurts all of us. Anybody that supports Boomio going forward, you, you can forget it. That thing's going to be done on arrival. No question about it. That's not, that, that thing's never going to take off. Boomio is going to do amazing. <laughs> Boomio is going to be the NFT platform. I told you guys in the beginning, but when Boomio comes out, you're not going to see an NFT platform is going to be able to touch it. There's not going to be a better platform than Vumeo. Look at Hidden Network. What is Hidden Network? It's a bunch of garbage. That's what it is. And I can tell you guys that Hidden Network is dead. Hidden Network is going to be dead going forward. I'm going to, all of those shows are going to be gone. A hundred percent. All of our brands, all of our brands that we have are amazing. It hurts his family on many different levels. It hurts me. It hurts our employees. And wow. ultimately, it hurts all of you. 
It just sucks. Unfortunately, Ben crossed several lines and forced me into a position with no alternatives. I had to take action to protect the team at Hit Network and the company. It became clear there was only one path forward. What I will say is every person here at Hit Network cares for Ben his wife Bethany, their three children, and his entire family. We want to see them happy and healthy. This has been a very painful and stressful time for us here at Hit Network. None of us wanted to get the rug pulled out from under us like this. I also wanted to address some of the recent statements Ben has made regarding the environment here at Hit Network and say those statements are unequivocally false. You're told that if you reach out to clarify and to try to get clarification on what has happened, that you're fired. There have been no threats towards employees regarding communications with Ben. In fact, I encouraged many of our team members to reach out to Ben as a friend because we do care about him as a person. I have family members that are in that spot over there right now. I have brothers that work for me. This is my brother. And so like the CEO of the company has been very respectful and has wow. like, kept a lot of stuff under wraps. And I'm going to continue to do that until it all becomes public knowledge. Whoa, this is BitBoy Crypto or Ben Armstrong's brother saying that they've kept a lot of things under wraps. So there's more to the story. And I think it's at the point where if BitBoy keeps like, if he wants to talk trash about HIT Network, which he has stopped doing, maybe they'll start to release more of that stuff that we don't know about. But they got his brother, dude. That's crazy public knowledge out of respect for our ceo because he has been extremely kind to me and has reached out to me and like is helping me the best that he can i still have a job and he he's just been an absolutely wonderful person throughout this entire process everyone standing here is here on their own accord we are a family here at hit network we work hard they're all nodding in approval so they all must not like bitboy i mean you can see all their face they're all nodding in approval crazy we love crypto and we stand together. Join us today as we embark on a new journey to discover crypto together. We're gonna learn a lot and change a lot as we grow. We'll discover new coins, we'll discover new creators and new ways to achieve financial freedom through crypto. We love you all and we're excited to start this new chapter. We know it's not gonna be easy and we'll need all the support we can get from you. Hit that like button if you're with us and we'll see you at the top. Wow, wow. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Look at when digesting all the information, who do I think is more right in this situation? I have to go with HIT Network. I've been trying to plug BitBoy Crypto's new platforms because I do think it's important for everyone to have a platform, regardless of whether you like him or not. And everybody knows I have a little disdain for BitBoy Crypto just because some of the lame things he's done. Remember, he tried to bully a smaller YouTuber and suing him right? And backed out like a coward when everybody else called him out for it, right? And all the other shit coins he shilled and that deal with Ben.eth that wrecked a lot of people out of like, what, $20 million and the whole SBF situation. Now this embarrassing uh, drama with the infidelity of, with his wife and stuff like that. I'm going to have to go on the side of TJ, although it does seem a little snakish to, you know, pretty much take over somebody's business after you built it with them. I can understand why they're doing it. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.